today is a momentous occasion. Because today is Friday, February 27th, and I don't know about where you guys are, but where I am, there is no snow outside. <laughs> so what do you think about the theme song? Does it work? I don't know. Feedback, please. So as it worked out, this week I have two questions of the week to answer. Thursday asked what is our favorite animal, and I'm going to have to go with the alpaca. Wednesday asked if we could have any fictional creature as a pet, which would we choose? And I'm going to have to go with a house elf because I think it would really help my mom out. Sorry, Hermione. So besides the fact that I am completely loaded down with school, I've had a pretty darn good week. As I've already told you guys, I have been looking into my ancestry on Ancestry.com for a 14-day free trial that I am making use of, and it turns out that I may or may not be the descendant of nobility, French nobility to be precise. At first I thought I was a direct descendant of these people, but it turns out that I'm really only related by marriage. Nevertheless, I'm still related to Etienne Marcel and Philippe de Vitry. One was the provost of the Merchants of Paris, the other was a very famous composer, so it's pretty cool. And there's a slight chance that I also might be maybe related to William the Conqueror, who was a king of England and of France. So from now on you can just call me Lady Jessica. Maybe we can chalk it up to my royal English roots. But yesterday I was really craving scones and tea, and I don't know how to make scones, and I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to buy scones, so I looked it up on the internet, and I found this place in Dundas, Ontario, which is about 30 minutes away from where I live, and so I drove there and bought myself scones and Devonshire cream, which I only ever get to really eat when I go to, you know, England. So today is a good day because I am loading myself up on carbs and dairy. <laughs> I'm going to be so fat by December, you guys aren't even going to be able to recognize me. France, I totally feel your pain about not being able to see Flight of the Concords. I really wanted to go too, and I can't go either. And something similar happened to me where I really wanted to go see Lily Allen in Toronto, and I have an exam that exact same day. And my heart broke. But on Sunday, I'm seeing Lisa Hannigan with my friend Sarah, and it's going to be amazing because I've wanted to see Lisa Hannigan for years. So I'm really excited, and I'm hoping it'll be a good show. Another thing I'm really excited about is that I just found out Cassandra Clare and Holly Black, two of my favorite urban fantasy authors, are going to be doing a book signing in Toronto on April 25th, and I just happened to not have an exam that day. So I'm totally, totally, totally going to be there, and I can't wait, and I'm really excited. <sighs> Speaking of books, I recently tidied up my library. Here's an example of one of my bookcases. As you can see on the top shelf there, I've just made my own bookshelves. <laughs> And just out of interest sake, here are two of the other bookcases. Look that way, where my nose is pointing. There's a space there. And that space needs some filling. Thanks for the advice, Katie, but I think I'm just going to go crazy and buy as many books as I can. I mean, I'm not going to be working at a bookstore for that much longer. I'm going to have to join the real world and get a full-time job. So I should just use that discount to my advantage. Last night, I found a Maureen Johnson book for $2. How could I pass that up? Stupid ass New Year's resolution is not going to stop me anymore. Today's song of the week is by a Canadian artist. I haven't decided which one, but if you go to the sidebar, you can check for yourself. Anyway, I think that's all I have to say for today. So I hope that everyone that's sick gets well soon, and everyone that's getting sick stops getting sick, and I hope school is easy and everybody gets A's. And Cynthia, I will see you on Monday.